Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sisters. And the message reads like this, Hello brother Nanshi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? My brother, I am a woman who is only aged 31 years and I want to warn other people out there. This red garment prophets, yo, they are going to do you really bad. Yes, they can assist you, especially if you want this thing of go back to sender. They can assist you, but if you meet someone who is evil, someone who has evil intentions against you, you are going to suffer. As for me, I am suffering right now. This man has since told me that if i want i can go wherever and report him but he told me that he is going to make my kids to suffer and this man he is very powerful believe you me brother nashi when it comes to spiritual powers he has spiritual powers he says that he was given these spiritual powers by god the story that he told me is that after he had finished his o level he then went into the mountains it was him and this other guy but the guy is his relative but that guy is not a red garment prophet he is doing the white garment prophet as well he has a lot of customers most of the rich people you see them driving their big cars but what you don't know is that at night these people they are touching some scary evil stuff i will tell you about this other south african man who actually said sacrificed his own family the thing that i saw brother nashi it makes me not to want to go even to report this guy to the police even though he abused me a lot and he made me to turn against my own relatives even right now i am still trying to reconnect with my mother especially my mother this guy when they went into the mountains he said that they started praying and when they were praying instead of seeing an angel like those angels that we know that they are holy angels they said that they saw another angel that had wings but these wings they were like the wings of a bat this angel came and the angel spoke with them but the angel told them that he was going to teach them the names there are some angelic names that have their own kingdoms in the skies we see the skies full of stars no those are not stars but they are heavenly sub kingdoms so instead of praying directly to god you can actually pray towards the direction of those heavenly kingdoms he was taught those names by that black angel that appeared to him he said that this angel that appeared to him in the mountain he said that the angel was surrounded by a black smoke he could not even actually see his own face the only thing that he saw were the wings because the wings they were too big so the smoke could not cover the wings entirely and this angel even spoke with him in our local shona language and the angel asked him if he was willing to do anything so that he can become powerful as for his cousin brother the cousin brother ran away maybe that is the reason as to why he is still a white garment prophet but he said that he remained behind and he knelt down before that angel the angel told him that this mountain it was an ancient mountain where this angel it actually flown down from heavens like in the ancient ancient days so this is the reason as to why this angel was keeping this mountain as a forbidden holy mountain the angel said even though the local villagers think that the mountain it is just forbidden because in that mountain that is where the kings are buried the chiefs are buried but the angel said that it was the one who gave this oral tradition each and every generation it was twisting the story because in that mountain when it was falling down from heaven it died in that mountain then it rose up again so each and every generation of humans that lived in that area kept on giving this oral tradition to all the generations and it changed the oral tradition to fit the new generation like in this generation it will shift the history of that mountain so that it can remain as a forbidden mountain that man 
he was told this story by that dark angel he was given some powers especially how to call the names of those angels the forbidden names so that is what he uses when he is prophesying he has this name that he call of the prince that stays there in the skies who has his own domain it is quite difficult to understand brother nash because it is not something that anyone can just understand but with time i was able to understand because what he will do is that he would go with me outside since we were staying in the location we would walk a little bit until we would have arrived in the bushy areas where the lights were not affecting us when people would have switched on their lights at night when we would go to a bushy area that is very dark he will start to show me the stars and he would tell me the stars by their names and to my surprise some of these stars when you google them those are the same stars this guy i saw that everything that he was telling me it was the truth because one night when we went into the bushes he mentioned one name and he pointed into the sky and i saw that the star it was actually blinking when he kept on calling the name of that angel whom he said that is the owner of that kingdom of that sub kingdom that is up there in the skies these things they are quite real this man when i met up with him all that i wanted to do was a go back to sender i asked around a lot of ladies you know when our men are cheating when our you know us a lot of ladies when our husbands are cheating on us we go around asking a lot of questions if there is anyone who can assist us since we had came here to south africa me and my ex-husband my husband was now more focused on this local women so he wanted to date this south african woman and when they started dating there was no money that was now coming into the house and i was really hurt he then started taking some of my money because we had saved some money he was now taking that money spoiling his new south african girlfriend all that i wanted was a go back to send what i wanted to happen was that I wanted this South African woman a private part to close up at least maybe for a year so that she won't be able to go on her periods or to urinate. I wanted her to feel the pain, the pain that I was feeling. But when I was given this number, I went to that prophet. The first time that he set his eyes on me, he said, you are such a beautiful woman. I don't even understand why your husband will ever cheat on such a beautiful woman like this. I didn't know that he had already started inserting these seducing thoughts in my mind. When I left his house, he gave me these river stones and he said, place these river stones underneath your pillow brother nashi his words that he had told me those words when he said that i am such a beautiful woman he does not understand why a man will try to cheat on me those words kept on ringing in my ears when i arrived back home the moment that i placed those stones underneath my pillow i started to have sexual dreams me and him having intercourse he called me one day to his house he said this was the final day of the final prayer he asked me if i had any dream at all at that time brother nashi i was already sitting on his bed because his room was quite small you know that mukuku the mukuku you know those mukukus they are quite small so there is only space for a bed a stove and a tv so i was sitting on his bed he was preparing some holy oil that he wanted to rub around my hands so as to chase away the bad luck before we can start doing the go back to sender and then i told him that i had some strange dreams you were coming to me but you were naked and your manhood was really strong and powerful and i enjoyed like i had never enjoyed but i think that it is just the work of the devil those are spiritual husband he turned around and he said no 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 and he made me to sleep on the bed he then took this other small metallic cup that was full of cooking oil that he said since he had prayed on that cooking oil it was now holy oil and he started to rub the, the cooking oil on my hands massaging me and the way that he was giving me that massage it was really good and i felt so much pleasure he kept on moving his hands until he had his chest around across my chest as he was massaging me on my other hand until he finally slept on my breast 
the moment that he pressed his chest around my breast it was just too much brother nashi i felt so much pleasure and he started kissing me on the neck and he said do you want it but brother nashi this man when i said no he then got on top of me and he removed my underwear and he rubbed that cooking oil on his private parts and he said that he wanted to insert the cooking oil into my private parts I then said no i do not want you to do that but his manhood was already in my private parts he made love to me and after that he got off and he started wiping himself and he said that he was sorry and i started crying he gave me more prayers that i was supposed to use that is how i ended up running away from my husband and i started staying with this red garment prophet whilst i was staying with him him and this other man that he was working with who was also a red garment prophet they were once called by this other man there in Deben, brother nashi i was even scared that if they go there maybe something is going to happen but he said that the angels were going to protect him when they went to that family's house there in kzn when he came back brother nashi he had this other big bag that was quite heavy to lift he had been promised a lot of money that family ended up donating a car to him because what he did is that he destroyed their tokoloshi after the man that used to work with my ex-boyfriend had gone back to his place that was when my ex-boyfriend said have you ever seen a tokoloshi before i said no I am not sure if I want to see it. He then said, no, don't worry. I am going to show you. Then he opened up that black bag and he removed this horn. It was a cow's horn. This horn, there was oil that was coming out of it. It was like someone kept on polishing it. Someone that was invisible. Later on in the evening, when he had closed that black bag, we were just watching TV. So he was sleeping on the other side of the bed and I was sleeping on the other side i was the one who was able to see everything i saw that the bag out of the bag there was blood a lot of blood that was coming out i then jumped and i started screaming he also woke up and he took his cross and he started praying over that bag then the blood just disappeared and he started laughing i said where is this blood coming from he said that this tokoloshi it is about to die it is vomiting all of that blood it is trying to vomit the blood of all the people that has been sacrificed by this family so that angel that assist him what the angel had done is that he it had turned the blood so that it can become poisonous so this tokoloshi it was being killed by the poisonous blood that it had once drank from the inside so it was trying to save itself by vomiting all of that blood brother nashi if you have never had a tokoloshi screaming then you do not know anything about spirituality a tokoloshi's scream it is quite terrifying it screamed the way that it was screaming just imagine that you try to slaughter a cat the way that the cat will be screaming out of fear that is exactly what was happening that was the sound that was coming out of that black bag it was quite a terrifying sound even up until today the sound has never left my ears after this man had been given the money he started dating this man he will be sleeping with a lot of women in his church and it even reached a point whereby we started staying in that same room we were two wives now so what he will do is that he will come on the bed and sleep with me one round on the bed then he will go on the floor and he will sleep with that woman one more round this man he was sleeping with local south african women he was sleeping with any woman who was willing to be with him and what pains me is that the same charm that he was using on me, that is the same charm that he was using on these women. And each and every time when you would be going out, he used to have this Nivea cold time that he would spread around his hands. In that Nivea, that is where he would place his charms. Any woman that he would propose love to, it would be difficult to say no. As for me, Brother Nashi, I found it to be very hard for me to tell him that you are cheating on me all that i could do was i would cry and when he would see me crying he would take me and he would 
take me to bed whenever you will be on top of me i would feel as if this is the best life you would even make love to me during the day when his second wife will be busy cooking he was using us as if we were sex toys and we were enjoying it until we started sleeping together on the same bed he would download some movies those adult movies and they will say do this to me what these women are doing those women that will be having a threesome then we'll start to touch each other until something clicked on me and i said this thing that we are doing it is just bad me kissing another woman me running away from my own husband to be with this prophet now this prophet is another wife now he is making me to kiss another woman because he's saying that it turns him on that was the final nail in the coffin and i said no more i then ran away from him and i returned back home it was quite difficult for my mom to accept me back because i had insulted her i was feeding this prophet with my money each and every month and i would take that envelope that the guy i would take the envelope that had my salary i would not even open it it was the one who was opening it for me and would just give me some money to buy some clothes the money that i was working hard for he was actually giving just a small portion to me then the rest he will say that it will be for the basic needs of his family who are back home in zim even that woman who later became his second wife he was doing the same he is not working that man he, there is no need for him to work because all these women that he use his charms on those women they steal money from their own husbands and they give it to him there was once a woman that he dated this woman was taking a grant money then the woman was giving the grant money to this man me and his second wife we we knew that this was what he was doing but there was nothing that we could do about it because he had his demonic powers over us when i returned back to south africa i threatened him and i said that i was going to do a case for him then he reminded me of all the things that he had showed me he said i have shown you everything amongst all the women that i have dated you are the one who knows where my power comes from so if you want you can go and report me nothing is going to happen to me but your mom is going to die your kids are going to suffer your generation is going to end that is going to happen and i promise you that it is going to happen so when i was going to work i met a snake that spoke to me brother nashi in the area where i am staying it is in the suburbs like for you to see a snake it is quite difficult i was just walking then i saw suddenly there was a snake in front of me this snake just stood and it raised its head and the snake said you can go ahead and report and it disappeared so i said let me rebuild my life i then asked my boss to stay at his house i stayed at his house for two good months while i was looking for another accommodation now i am working in another location but this is my own confession ladies beware if you visit these prophets try to visit them with your own husband present if you go alone they will take advantage of you your dear listeners right there was a message that i received as a whatsapp voice note from our dear sister strange things do happen in this world she's saying that the names of the angels is it true that in the skies there are sub kingdoms what we call planets are not planets but they are sub kingdoms that are controlled by angels he was taught how to call on the name of this angel who has his own sub kingdom there in the skies strange things do happen just imagine someone takes you in the bushes and the person says look up in the sky and when the person is praying pointing at this other star then the star responds and it will start to blink strange things do happen in this world